Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Grey Alien Games, and this is our seventh vlog about Shadowhand. And today I'm going to talk about uh, what I've been doing for the last couple of months, which is um, mostly working on the costume or the outfit items that the player can wear. Um, there's a huge amount of them in the game and it's proven very complex to get them all to work together, overlaid and to work in the different animation states during combat. So I'm going to show you those uh, today. Let's have a look. So first off we can see the player at the beginning of the game on the screen and they've got a sort of basic outfit um, but there are over 50 more items that we can actually apply to the character. Now each of the items, um, most of them have some kind of minor effect upon your armor value. Not all of them though, um, but they have other effects instead. Like So some items will protect you against um, smoke inhalation or bombs or fire or poison. Um, other items will enhance certain weapons or classes of weapons like guns or swords or sea weapons or land weapons. And other things um, will enhance your defense against those. Uh, and, and various um, different oddball effects upon the player. Um, so some players will sort of min-max the game and sort of decide to uh, wear the most effective items at all times. But other players may decide to wear what looks best to them. And certain items we've paired together that we think look good, we've given them an, ad an additional effect, uh, a bonus effect. So just to encourage people to sort of use those and I'll show you what those are like. So let's take a look at a few of the items you can wear. So um, what we've got here is various hats. Um, so these tend to give you some sort of minor armor bonus but they often protect you against thrown projectiles. And you also the game expects you to wear some kind of disguise. So if I take this kerchief off and I try to exit the inventory screen it won't, won't let us. We do have to wear either a kerchief, and there's a variety of sort of kerchiefs you can wear, um, or some kind of mask, and there are basic ones, and then there are more fancy ones like this. Um, also, at one point in the game, you get this execution mask, which is pretty cool, and even a Venetian mask, uh, which is like they used to wear in the theater and so on back then. You can even wear beards. Um, now you might think, huh? Well, we actually found evidence that some highwaymen did actually wear fake beards. And so, yep, Shadowhand can have one as well. You can even put on a rather warm sort of fur cow, kind of Russian style. Um, but that's a sort of late game item. You can change up your shirt. So we've got a basic shirt here. You can wear a black one if that's your thing. Um, where's the black shirt? Here we go. Or this frilled shirt. Now the frilled shirt looks pretty cool but it actually was a real pain to add to the game because it has a neck frill and these cuffs and the cuffs had to work um, with all the different sort of weapons uh, and the neck frill had to um, also work with all different outfit items and, and it was a huge pain. Actually this executioner mask I showed you a minute ago that was also a huge pain because it has to do stuff like it modifies her hair and then if you wear certain hats the hats have to be different as well so a lot of the items had a lot of special cases that needed to be coded and not just coded but I had to sort of modify the graphics and make sure they worked well together I didn't make the graphic we hired an art team who made a load of them and they're very good um, graphics but they needed a lot of sort of editing to make sure that not only they overlap, but they worked in all the animation states, which I'll show you in a minute. Let's look at a few more items. Um, there are some very nice corsets you can wear. You can even wear um, a men's style waistcoat, if that's your thing. This Spanish um, stays, that, that's actually designed to be worn with this Spanish jacket. And when you wear them both, uh, you get a small bonus. We've done a similar thing actually with the fine riding habit and the uh, riding boots which you can wear together and get a bonus. Um, there are some nice trousers and you know fancy trousers. We've got these postillion boots. These are what a coachman would wear to keep the mud off their trousers. Um, you can even wear socks and shoes um, if that's your thing. Um, and let's have a look up here a minute. 
we've got some sort of plain jackets as well that give you a bonus. Now there's often a sort of black or brown theme going on and that's because we've kind of got two factions in the game um, where brown is sort of like swashbucklers and pirates and, and so on and, and black is the sort of rogues and highwaymen. So you can wear various different black sword belts and gun belts and, and black braces with your black gear or you can say well actually you know I, I prefer to go uh, with a brown look instead um, and they have different sort of effects as well you can even get this kind of cool um, almost like a boxers heavyweight champion belt you can wear as well um, different braces that goes with the strong brace st strong belt sorry and uh, let's have a look you can even get almost Wonder Woman style uh, braces here so there's a lot of stuff in the game it all has a, a different effect L look at these sailor trousers they actually give you an, a chance to avoid the ill effects of alcohol because you can consume alcohol in the game but alcohol gives you a positive and a negative effect uh, but those trousers will help you out um, so that's that's a sort of example of the items you can get but what we had to do was not just make them work in this inventory stance which is also used for the story but we had to make them work for the combat stances so I've got a cheat in the game players won't see this but I used it for development so this is what she looks like getting ready for combat but she also needs to have a left uh, fighting stance and a right fighting stance and a hurt stance so what we had to do for every single item was check that it, it looked realistic to change um, from normal into fighting and, and, and each one had to work with different weapons, the arm position had to change and so on. Um, the back stance had to work, you know, it, it was a lot of work making sure that everything seemed consistent uh, from the different stances. And the hurt stance, you know, her legs mostly stay the same but her upper body moves and so we had to make sure that was consistent as well. So that's just taken me a long time. Each stance took you know, a week or more to go over every possibility and there were sometimes 500 plus um, things that I needed to check and edit and make work together and make sure they were consistent across everything. So yeah, that was quite a lot of work that we weren't anticipating and it would make us very wary in the future of how we design things. Because we could have just said, hey, there are four shirts and four trousers and they're all different colors, that's it. You know, which is a very simple way to do things. We could have even not had um, the character animate at all like this in the game but now it, that it's done you know we think it looks pretty awesome um, and uh, it's gonna really you know pay off uh, for players in terms of sort of immersion the way they can do all this stuff to the character uh, and then it actually pans out in the game so let's just take this into the game I just need to disguise myself let's put on that um, let's just get some uh, weapons that I know I've coded for now here we go so she's got an outfit there in fact maybe we'll stick on some trousers as well look here different trousers different corset let's get a nice hat okay we're ready to roll so <clears throat> now when we play the game you can see the characters in the corner in her outfit if we'd seen a story scene she would come on in that outfit as well but I'm gonna go to a combat mission and you can see she's in her full outfit there and then I'm gonna start this duel so yeah if I shoot with the gun you'll see she goes to the stance with all of those items on um, that's the hurt stance and this is the other hand so it's pretty cool that you know you could dress up however you want and it carries through to the game it was a lot of work but you know I think in the end it's gonna be worth it because it's pretty cool so yeah that's what we've been doing um, next up actually we're adding a load more enemies so we've got a few in the game at the moment here's uh, another enemy uh, we've got a sailor sorry a soldier on this level got a sailor here pirate dude uh, we've got the uh, chevalier that you fight in your daytime costume so because Shadowhand is an aristocrat by day and a highway woman by night there are a few levels where you do training um, in your day costume like this one. Um, so that's quite fun. 
there's another one later on. Let me see if I can find that. And just press the right cheat keys here. Yeah, where you do um, gun training against a dummy. So I'll be talking more about these in future episodes. Uh, who else have we got? We've got this mega boss at the end, this executioner dude. He's a bit vicious. Maybe we'll let him uh, strike us and see, see what that's like. Not very nice. Um, still got to add in a few sounds, as you can see. Anyway, uh, all that's done now. Now it's adding in enemies, code, new features, uh, making sure it all hangs together. There's a lot to do, and there's going to be a lot more videos in the coming weeks. So, uh, thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for our next video soon. Bye.